Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Firstly, I would like to apologise for the croakiness in my voice as I have just had the flu. If you've ever seen the documentary Crossing the Line on the life of James Joseph Dresnock, an American private first class who defected to North Korea in 1962, he speaks fondly about his second wife and first wife in North Korea. However, his wife wasn't of North Korean or indeed Korean descent and didn't even want or intend to be there. In fact, she was from the other side of the planet. Dresnok would state in Crossing the Line, initially referring to the other three defectors of the Army of the United States of America, Larry Allen Absher, Jerry Wayne Parrish and Charles Robert Jenkins, you know, Jenkins was married to a Japanese, Parrish was married to a Lebanese, and Absher was married to a Korean, and I was married to a normal white. I thought I was the happiest man in the world when I met her. I walked into the foreigners section of the Oyongi restaurant. This brunette was sitting at the table. I went completely crazy, but I thought, come on, I'm lonely, you're lonely, let's make a pair. And I had two sons by her. Ted Dresnock and James Dresnock. Ah, uh, what a woman. She made me 20 years older than I really was. Then one day in winter she was sick, and five months, one day later, she passed away. He also said that he tried getting this unnamed woman drunk, and tried to get her to tell him what part of Europe she was from, but she never told him where she was from, and indeed, in this documentary, her name was never revealed. Well, her name was Doina Bumbea, and she was Romanian. Bumbea was born on the 25th of January 1950 in Bucharest, the capital of Monde, Romania, in the Romanian People's Republic, with the country under the communist leadership of the General Secretary Gheorghiuș Dej. Bumbea was one of three children, with two brothers, one of them being Gabriel Bumbea. In 1970, despite the closed borders of Romania and difficulty for citizens to leave the Iron Curtain, she went to live in Rome, Italy, having married an Italian citizen. The pair would later divorce in 1972. Living alone in Rome, she studied fine art and became a painter. In 1978, she met an Italian who was allegedly an art dealer, who promised her a job as a gallery curator in Tokyo, Japan. But firstly, she would need to perform an art exhibition in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. At the time, the Romanian People's Republic under Nicolae Ceausescu enjoyed a strong relationship with North Korea, with Ceausescu desperate to create a cult-like personality of himself, similar to that of Kim Il-sung in Romania, and simultaneously create something akin to North Korean society within Romania. Bumbea flew to Pyongyang, but would never leave. According to Charles Robert Jenkins, the only defector of the Army of the United States of America to North Korea to make it back home, in his memoir The Reluctant Communist, My Desertion, Court Martial, and 40-Year Imprisonment, Bombea was kidnapped as part of a spouse sourcing program for the four American defectors in North Korea, as the birth of ethnically mixed Koreans went against the wishes of North Korea, and also the regime desired to create ethnically non-Korean agents for the country to utilize. Even though in crossing the line, Dresnok maintained the illusion that their marriage was mutual and brought about through each other's loneliness, having met in a restaurant, Jenkins insisted that the pair's marriage in the early 1980s was forced. Bumbea had two children with Dresnok, Fyodore Ricardo Dresnok, born in December 1981, while James Gabriel Dresnok was born in February 1983. Her family became resolute to the concept that they would never see her again and performed her funeral rites in the mid-1980s, not knowing if she was dead or alive. While she was in Pyongyang, her father died in 1989. A heavy smoker, Bumbea, died in January 1997 from lung cancer in Pyongyang, having never returned to Romania. However, her death is accepted by both the Bumbea family and the Romanian government when it was discovered in the mid-2000s that she had passed away in Pyongyang. However, the family continued to fight for answers regarding Bumbea's kidnapping. 
In 2008, Gabriel founded the Doina Bumbea Association, a Romanian NGO dealing with missing people, and in 2014 attended a meeting of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva, Switzerland, representing the association and discussed abductions by North Korea, attempting to meet or make contact with his nephews. Bumbea's other brother died in January 2014. Her brother Gabriel is still alive and the only remaining member of her close family. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Romania has met with Bumbea's brother to discuss the family's plight as she is the only Romanian citizen and one of only a handful of European citizens to have been kidnapped by North Korea. The second president of Romania, Ion Iliescu, and the fourth president, Trajan Baescu and member of European Parliament Marian Jen Marinescu, as well as Senator Dan Horiatiu Buzatu, have all met with Bombea's brother. However, other than statements, the Romanian government hasn't really taken any action in pressuring the North Korean government to either return Bombea's remains or compensate the family for her kidnapping. Indeed, since the fall of communism in Romania in 1989, both countries have maintained limited relations, with Romania having gained stronger relations with South Korea. However, Romania was the last European country to have an embassy in Pyongyang, which was closed in October 2021 due to COVID-19 containment measures implemented by North Korea. Bombay's husband, James Joseph Dresnok, died from a stroke in November 2016 in Pyongyang, and her two sons are in the North Korean army, the Korean People's Army, ironically fighting for the country that kidnapped their mother. Thank you for watching, please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform yourself of when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment, it helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, have an amazing day and remember the truth is always more interesting than fiction.